Now, again, in our content browser, so if I just bring that up, there are a whole load of other things that may be really useful for us. So if I just do a quick search for desk, here we go, we have a load of different office desks, corner desks, gigantic desks, okay, depending on sort of what you want to put in. So these desks are to scale, and if I just right click and go open containing folder, Okay, they are under, oh, they are under Visualize. Oh, excellent. Um, so the doors and the windows were under Studio, but all of these aspects that we can use to fill our office space are under Visualize. So under Visualize 3D objects, we've got all sorts of stuff. So if I created a, you know, a couple of office desks, um, what should we go for? Should we go for a couple of corner ones? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to redock this up there. Marvellous. So if we just go to objects and then office desk and then move that out, okay, we've got some maneuverability. There we go. And again, that was quite quick. You know, we don't have to worry about adding in or moving things like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be really lazy and I'm going to put that in a symmetry object because what I would like is to have not it there. So if I just press 7 and then move my symmetry object across. So pressing 7 allows me to move where the symmetry is without having to worry about um, moving the child of that object as well. There we go, if I just move that across a smidge, there we go. We've got two desks in there, no problemo. So let's see what else we've got. Office tables, coffee tables, um, seating. So we've got chairs. Ooh, okay, we might, they might be a little bit uncomfortable. Hey, office chairs, just exactly what we wanted. So let's be posh let's have one of those I like the look of that um, and then that Chris creates your office chair and we can move that into space actually let's check whether or not everything's on the floor it's probably wise isn't it my desks hovering no thankfully my desks are actually on the ground which is really good so just using my different views just maneuver your stuff so it's going to be where you need it to be. There you go. Just going to put that in there. Then I'm going to go to objects. What I might do is be really cheeky and put that in the symmetry as well. Um, and Alt G that. So. Oh, did I get rid of that? Maybe just undo. Serves me right for being lazy, really, doesn't it? So what I might do is put that over there and then rotate that. And I could make it a child of Office Desk 1. There we go. F1 to have a look. And I have two desks, two offices, uh, two office chairs, no problem. Let's see what else is under that content browser. So we've got seating and things, we've got benches. Um, oh, we could have a nice, a nice plant. We've got some cutouts, some trees, maybe, maybe not. I think they're a bit big for sort of the plants that might go in a in an office, perhaps tables, shelving. Okay, so you've got living room and bedroom, TV units, modular cabinets if you want that sort of stuff. Um, maybe some office drawers, appliances. Um, I'm actually going to look at the bathroom. That does seem a bit strange, but um, accessories, toilet doors, handles, toilet roll holders. So you can really kit stuff out. There you go. You can even have male and female door signs if you particularly want it. Bathtubs, sinks. That's actually really cool. Ceramics. There we go. Oh, we've got some very swanky toilets there, but uh, so let's go for a couple of standard toilets, shall we? Let's just see where that's put that. 
there we go. So top view, let's have a look at how our office space is coming. So I'm just going to rotate that 90 degrees and marry that up to be relatively near the, t the uh, wall. Don't fancy there being much of a gap to be perfectly honest. So there we go. And then we've got some, maybe some posh sinks. Um, let's go for one of those. Rotate that 90 degrees and move that there. They've got a very swanky toilet, haven't they? Lots of room, very nice of them. Oh, I may want to put that up a bit and move that across. There we go. So they've got a lot of room there for the toilet and then they've got a sink. And again, I'm going to be a bit lazy and I'm going to put those two in a group. Uh, Alt G to group them. And then I'm going to make them a child of a symmetry object using the Alt command. So there we go, we've got two toilets in one. Not quite where I wanted it to reflect. So let's do that uh, XZ, no. Uh, oops, XY, there we go. And then using 7 and the move tool, I can adjust those so that they are in a better position. Marvellous, look at that. We've got a kitted out office, we've got a sink and a toilet and two office chairs. Yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. So under the content browser, is there anything else that we could sort of maybe put in there? Appliances, fridge, freezers, ovens. Wow, there, you know, there is so much stuff in here. Electronics, flat screen TVs. Um, it's absolutely incredible. You've got a whole load of stuff that you can you know, put together. In another one of my tutorials, I've even done how to use the book generator. So maybe you could have a whole load of bookcases around full of files and books or, you know, these folders and things like that. Even health and safety stuff like fire extinguishers. It's absolutely brilliant. Bag of crisps lying around. So, you know, we've got tables, coffee tables. There is so much stuff that is in this version of Cinema 4D, which is absolutely brilliant for you guys who want to kind of use Cinema 4D to do architectural stuff, layouts and things like that. Okay, but this isn't looking too bad. Um, and then maybe we can just have a look and see what it's going to do when it comes to rendering. So as you know, for most people who watch my tutorials, I'll always add ambient occlusion and global illumination because generally it gives us a much nicer effect. So if I just go into here and then click render, we shall sit and wait for a mo and then see how it comes out. For these uh, objects here, which you know, if you're looking for some good layouts, is really, really good for us. Um, that, those desks are looking a bit bland. Have we got a computer? Let's do a search. Ah, oh, there we go, computer monitor. So I'm just gonna double click that. I'm gonna create a keyboard as well. Let's have a look at our objects and see where it's put them. So let's just move those and marry them up so that they can sit on this desk. So F2 to go to top view. Let's just press O to focus in on it. I'm gonna zoom out a tad so I can see what's going on. So computer monitor, let's get that facing the right way to start with. So let's put that on there. Yes, that window's in the way, isn't it? But hey ho, they can enjoy the uh, the fresh air perhaps. Um, and then we've got a keyboard, which I should just utilize and put in there. Maybe the ergonomics of that. Health and safety would probably have a go at me, but hey ho. Certainly if they were up there, so let's move those down so that they are sitting on that desk. So let's just zoom in a turd and look at the top of that desk. There we go. There they are, nice in there. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put them on my office desk so that we've got a clone. There we go. And so quickly we are getting this put together, you know, with more and more stuff in with no problem. Um, and you can keep filling it up. What I might do, is add in some cameras and then position them 
whilst I've got my you know my views relatively simple I'm just going to zero everything out so that I can see it all to start with there we go and that puts that camera I think smack bang in the bathroom oh no smack bang in the middle of the room so there we go I could put one in there so that we can have a look at what it's like from in there I'm just going to adjust my view so that we're not looking at it from the toilet seat perspective that would be a bit grim um, move that out I'm just going to call that bathroom one so that we can have a bit of a mosey through it so I'm going to make another one and then rotate and put that up there so that we can see what it looks like through that door I'm going to call that bathroom 02 or 2 in fact, let's make it 02 and then I'm going to create another camera and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to put it in that corner so that we can see our office space from the inside then under the house builder I'm just going to turn the ceiling on and then I'm going to look at it from inside and we can see what it looks like there we go see we don't get much of a view there but we can look around we can have a look through the window I guess maybe there we go so we've got that one and then bathroom two looks straight out into the office space and there we go that one allows us to look straight into our little office room maybe I could increase its height I don't think I can get much further out but there we go and let's just have a quick render and see what that looks like that gives us a nice sort of interior office space view it takes a little bit of time to render but I think that's the amount of sort of shiny reflective materials there are on the chair and things like that um, and then I'm just going to come out of that camera okay and then we can have a look at our 3d view and then I shall just take let's have a look at what the x-ray is there you go you can see how that would all sort of lay out which is quite useful for us um, allows you to sort of position things a bit better but turn off x-ray turn off ceiling and then just I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to position this here and then click render so I'm just going to change my settings so I want to go to a what am I doing uh, film and video 1920 by 1080 anti-aliasing to best because I want it to look as pretty as I can okay and then I shall uh, save it in a bit but I shall click render our rendered office space which took no time at all really to put together thanks to Cinema 4D's house builder and some of its integrated things and already preset objects well i hope that was a useful tutorial for you and you will find that you can do a variety of different things with it and it's opened your sort of expertise up a little bit more and i will catch you next time